Hi everyone, it's Brianna. I'm back and I'm feeling more myself today. Um, it's Sunday. I just got back from church and I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling blessed and relaxed. Um, so I'm going to do a video for you guys today that I saw one of my I'm subscribed to someone, I can't remember her name, I think it's Kate Giselle or something, but um, she's a nursing student as well, and I saw one of her videos that kind of inspired me to make this video. Um, it's called, What's in my hospital, not, What's in my hospital bag, sorry, I've been watching too many um, pregnancy vlogs. I know that's weird, but that's what I like to do. So, anyways, um, it's called what's what's in my clinical bag and what's in my backpack. I'm gonna do them combined only because um, for clinical normally I take both my backpack and my clinical bag um, but that's normally just to if we have a lab day I take both but if we're actually in the facility I don't take anything. Um, you don't need your clinical bag for clinicals all you need is your ID and your stethoscope. So um, let's get started. I have my clinical bag right here and this big red bag was provided by my school. Um, it has two pockets in the front so let's start looking. I haven't gone through this very much uh, this semester. I did when I first did it last semester but um, in the first pocket I have, hold on, I have a gait belt, and if you don't know what a gait belt is, it's just used a lot in nursing homes or assisted living to uh, wrap around their waist to help them ambulate and get out of bed and stuff like that. It just makes it easier on the nursing student or the nurse. Um, I haven't really used mine much though because most of my patients were they couldn't get out of bed, so I didn't have to move them. Um, this is just a weird little cloth thing. I think this was for medications. We just used it to protect the table. It was nothing special. Um, so that's all that's in the first pouch. And then the second front pouch, I've got a pair of surgical scissors. These are really heavy duty, nice ones. Um, my mom, I think, actually got them from her hospital and gave them to me. And I've got some Germex. It was provided. I don't know why it looks like that, but it does. And then, okay, I've got, this was from my CPR class. This was the assisted breather thing when you stick it in their mouth and you could do breath so you're not actually touching mouth to mouth. Um, because that's very unsanitary. And then this is also another assisted breather thing. You can just place this over their face and breathe into the little hole. Um, so yeah, I just kept that from my CPR class. Not many people do. Um, they actually just throw them away, but I thought it would be very helpful. And you never know when you're going to be in an emergency situation and you might need them. Um, these are the next thing that's in my... Uh, front pocket. It's some more surgical scissors, but these are not as good a quality, even though they're metal. Um, these were just provided, and I think they're very cheap. So, yeah. And I have an insulin needle, which we have not practiced with yet because that's second semester nursing stuff. Um, and some, what do they call it, clear and cloudy um, insulin. So I haven't practiced with that yet either. Next semester I will though. So now we're getting into the big zipper, the main pocket. Um, two things that I always, always, always have in my clinical bag, never fails, is my stethoscope, preferably with your name on it because you could lose it, um, and my blood pressure cuff. Um, this was actually my mom's through nursing school, so I just kind of borrowed hers. It's nothing special, just blue. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're getting into the different dip bags that are in here. It was provided by the school. 
Um, this bag right here is your PPE, protective personal equipment or something like that. It has the yellow gown and the surgical mask and some gloves. And I think it has uh, some hospital booties and a hair net as well. But the only thing we used out of this bag was the gloves, the gown, and the surgical mask. Um, we didn't have to put on the booties or anything. And some of this stuff I'm not really sure what it is because I haven't opened it yet. And because it's for next semester. Um, this is a stomach tube. I don't really know what that is yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out one day. <laughs> and we have some suction catheter kit. We have not used this yet at all. Um, then we have some latex surgical gloves. I assume these are sterile which we have not used yet either because the catheter kit that's in here comes with sterile gloves already so I haven't had to use those. Um, this right here is going to be your physical assessment bag. It has the um, some cotton tip applicators, it has plenty of cotton, uh, what do you want to call it, gauze and alcohol pads and it has tongue depressors it also has the little knee uh, hammer thing, <laughs> which apparently doesn't work on me. I have no reflexes um, because so many people have tried it on me and I just, it doesn't work. I don't know. Um, it has a tape measure and a light pen, which doesn't work very well. Um, it also has the, the E chart for the eye to test their vision. Um, I forget what that's called. I'm sorry, but... We haven't used that either because we don't, I mean, we didn't practice with it in physical assessment last semester. Um, and this right here looks like an IV starter kit, which we won't use until next semester either. Um, it has the tape, the gauze, the needle, the, the catheter, the syringe, and stuff like that. So... This right here is what we used for injections. And you just open up the little box. It's a little red squishy thing. It's supposed to resemble like skin, um, I guess, to practice your injections on. But you're not actually supposed to inject liquids into this because it's a porous material. So it'll just come right out. Um, so we have that in our, in our bag, which is nice. Not many schools provide that. And this right here just looks like some surgical sponges and some gauze. Nothing special. This is your, I'm not really sure what this is actually. Um, because stuff that we haven't used this semester, we're not really supposed to open. It looks like some kind of, uh, stitches or surgical, you know, uh, actually, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it just says combined pad, but I don't know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> and then this here is a tracheostomy tray. We have not used that yet, so it's not opened, and that sounds really scary. <laughs> um, the central line dressing change tray. I don't know what that is either, but there you go. <laughs> and this looks like an IV bag full of, it has sodium chloride, I guess it's just water, and that looks like the little drip thing right there. We haven't used that. Um, and this is my favorite, last but not least, this huge catheter tray. <laughs> um, this we do use at the end of the semester, and it was very hard, but very it's, it's very interesting to learn and to practice. Um, I can't imagine one day me actually doing this on someone because... 
that looks really scary. Um, let me just move that out of the way. And 